the final price tag for Auckland City Rail Link, the country's biggest transport project, could swell to as much as $3.4 billion. The government's worst case scenario was revealed as it formally signed on the dotted line today to pick up half the cost of the city's downtown rail tunnel. Work has already begun on the 3.4 kilometre double track underground rail line but today's agreement with the Auckland Council has also bumped up the final cost by as much as $400 million on paper. Our Auckland correspondent Todd Nile attended today's signing which took place by a 13 metre deep cabin in downtown Albert Street. Absolutely delighted. I'm so proud for Aucklanders. It's the signature project of Len Brown's 2010 election campaign, creating an inner city rail loop to transform the downtown area and boost the city's rail network. Preparatory work's well underway. Today's signing took place next to a huge hole on the corner of Albert and Victoria Streets, where water and sewerage lines have to be relocated. The project, previously expected to cost $2.5 billion to build, now has a higher price tag, outlined by the Minister of Transport, Simon Bridges. The, the cost of this project, uh, in terms of a, an, a realistic estimated range, the Crown believes is between $2.8 and $3.4 billion. It's not immediately clear what's behind the higher estimates. Effectively what you've got here is a refinement which is going to happen on really big projects like this where you start getting more detailed design work uh, and you start getting uh, more detailed costings and, and data about what, what it means. The refinement's going to continue. The earlier $2.5 billion price tag was in fact shorthand for a range that spanned from 2 to $3 billion, so the new top end is $400 million higher. RNZ News understands that also builds in flexibility should more money be needed, for example, for a property development around a station that might later pay dividends. Tenders expected to be let at the end of next year for the rail tunnels will give a better indication of the real price. For the Mayor, Len Brown, due to vacate his office in just weeks, today was a triumph. This was the one that got Dubmire Robinson uh, strove 18 years to deliver. This is the one that Prime Minister Coates suggested over uh, nearly 100 years ago. Um, it's the one that will most importantly impact on the, the well-being and the lives of Aucklanders and helping them to get around the city. And uh, boy, I'd like to be opening it tomorrow. It won't be tomorrow. It's likely to be seven or eight years away. Itamaki Makoro, Motehotaka, Ote Ahi Ahi, Ko Todd Nile Tene.